Well, hello, and welcome to this channel. Yeah, the geek in the community. So essentially on this channel, I am going to be talking about anything LGBT related, anything related about being gay and whatnot. I can talk about members of the LGBT community in TV shows, movies, video games, just regular issues that we individuals have on a daily life basis. If you want, you can even give me some suggestions. I would love to hear what kind you have and what kind you want some sort of insight on. So to get this channel started out, I might as well kind of introduce you to who I am and I'll touch on my coming out story a little bit. Um, who knows if that's going to be too personal to go into in my first video on this channel, but that's how people roll, right? My name's Jeff. I am currently a senior in college, well going to be. Um, I am majoring in English with emphasis in creative writing and literature as well as a minor in psychology and I love watching TV and playing video games and sometimes reading when I have the time and yeah. Now that you know all the useless things about me, I guess I can kind of touch on the more uh, enlightening things that have to do with actually being gay. So uh, my coming out story was, I guess, fairly average compared to, you know, everyone else. You know, most of my life I was told, and sure, just that, you know, date girls and all this stuff. It's not like it was, I was forced or anything, it's just, you know, like any other people, any other family, it's just, it's what you're gonna tell your child. So that's kind of how it happened, and um, I guess as I was growing up, kind of, kind of realized I didn't, didn't really have any interest in girls, and I just kind of, kind of ignored it. Kind of thought, well, you know, maybe at some point I will, because you know, every one of the little fourth graders were like <laughs> pretending to have crushes on girls and whatnot, and they're like, ooh, look. I have a crush on her, who do you like? And I would just kind of be like, uh... And it actually got to the point where I told people that I liked pretty much the meanest girl ever. I just told everyone that I liked her. I mean, I mean right? How, do, how does that work? I don't think anyone actually believed that I liked her. All those little fourth graders didn't really matter all that much, but... That was my first kind of introduction to liking girls, I guess, and didn't go so well. But anyway, as I got on with my life, I middle school, little middle school, that's when it started getting a little even weirder, when I also pretended to like, like another mean, not, she wasn't mean, kind of, but she was a more popular girl, and she... I mean, she was nice to me, I guess, but, I mean, I just said it to fit in. Everyone else was saying what they liked and people were flirting with each other. I figured it was the cool thing to do. I like a girl. That girl. She's cool, I guess. But as we all know, that didn't work out. And, yeah. I guess I should mention that uh, before that, during that year, there was a very attractive male person that I kind of met and started talking to because we both had similar interests like we both loved playing Metal Gear Solid and pretending that we were secret super spies who snap people's necks to basically just to be Snake and he was yes like I said he was attractive and that's how I kind of started realizing like oh oh boys might be where it's at. So that's kind of how I started. And then as life went on, you know, I kind of just pretended. It's not, it's, it's, I, it's just an infatuation, I guess. I don't know. I didn't know what I was thinking about it. I just knew that it wasn't normal. So I just kind of kept it on the down low. I didn't really say anything to anybody because most of the people I knew didn't really seem to be all that into it. They didn't really seem to think it was all that acceptable. I didn't 
explain the times, I guess. I don't know. High school came around, which I wasn't all that nervous to go into. I mean, I figured it couldn't be all that much different than middle school. The work was somewhat harder, I guess. Whatever. That's not the point of the story. This is when marching band kind of started for me because I wanted something to do, and I had been in band during the school year for middle school, and I figured, you know, hey, marching band's gonna be fun. So that kept me busy, and there were attractive male people in there too that I also liked, but then I kind of did this weird thing where I would just, I don't know, like, try really hard to be their friend, but it looked like I had a crush on them. And I mean, I kind of did, but it just, it was just me being a socially awkward teenager who didn't really know how to approach the world. So I ended up kind of being that weirdo who pushed people away. Because I didn't know how to handle my feelings. I couldn't say anything about them. I thought everyone was going to think I was weird if I actually said it. So I kept it down low still. Because I was desperate for a place in high school. So high school kept going and uh, my old habits came back and I told people that I liked a girl. And she definitely... I. She was a nice, she was nice. I mean, I was kind of friends with her throughout high school, but I mean, like her, no. She was just kind of there. She was there for an excuse. So, I mean, there was me trying to hide this abnormal fact about me that I, at least I thought was abnormal. That was really the only girl I kind of talked about like that. I mean, I never didn't really have any legitimate reason to say why I liked her. I just kind of used it as another excuse, but, time came and went and people kind of eventually forgot about that and it wasn't until the summer after my sophomore year of high school when I started telling friends and the first one I told was my best friend at the time and she seemed to be okay with it when I told her I actually came out as bisexual because for some reason I thought that was more acceptable liking girls still kind of maybe it's like halfway out of the closet, like, testing the waters, you know, like, okay, this is how it's gonna be. Yeah. So, I mean, I told people that, and they were like, all right, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I told another one of my really close friends who was a male. He just simply said that he didn't care, which was a good enough answer for me at that point. So, yeah, that went well, right? But as time passed, as I showed no interest in women at all, my friends started realizing that I really wasn't bisexual and I was just gay. I mean, who wouldn't? Junior year came around when I was out to a lot of my friends in school, and, you know, everything was kind of alright. I was a little scared to tell my parents, you know. My dad is from a conservative background. Um, my mom kind of didn't express the most kind words when it came to gay individuals, so I didn't feel safe saying it to either parent. So there was that. As time went on during junior year, um, it got to a point where I didn't really, couldn't really hide it too much longer from my parents. Um, there was a band fundraiser where we had to sell pies, and me and my dad had to go pick up the pies, and he noticed that a lot of the girls in band liked to talk to me and say hi to me because I was friends with mostly girls and I still am. But they were all like coming up to me and hugging me and talking to me and stuff and I guess he probably took it as flirting. I don't know. But eventually when we got all the pies that I was supposed to get, hand out to people, we got in the car, we were driving away and he's all like, you know, notice a lot of those girls are coming up to you and saying hi to you. It was just kind of, I was just kind of quiet because what else was I supposed to say to that? And then he's like, so do you like any of them? And I kind of was just like, no, I didn't, obviously. So then he kind of came back with, well, why not? And I just said, I just don't. I told him to just play and simple. And then, so then he came back with, 
asked, do you like girls at all? And then I was just kind of like, well, what do you think? And my dad, being the person that he is, wanted me just to say it. So I did. I told him I didn't like girls at all. And that was kind of that. It was a quiet ride to his work because we had to drop off a pie there, I think. I think someone at work bought one. And yeah, he, and to this day, I mean, he, he won't bring it up too much, but you know, I wouldn't necessarily say it's something he looks down on. And then eventually I told my stepmom who he's still married to and she was okay with it. I wasn't really too worried about her, but she apparently already knew. A lot of people I know already knew apparently. I guess I'm that obvious. And then when I had to tell my mom, uh, I actually ended up telling my brother first, my older brother. And he basically told me to be cautious of telling our mother because he knew she was kind of old fashioned and she might not react the right way. So I essentially didn't get to tell her the way I wanted to. We were shopping one day and she saw a gay couple to which she expressed a little bit of disgust to and I defended them. I said, well, you know, why is it gross? And she just said it is and then asked me if I knew any gay people and I said, yeah. And then she kind of thought about it once we got to the car and then she realized and then she asked me and I, I said yes. And that was that. Despite the fact that I took her a little bit to get over the fact that she was the last person I told because of how she was about it, things are okay now. She's one of my biggest supporters and it's all good. I mean, I still love her. It's, it's one of those things that you just realize I don't hate her for it. I guess people just change. To this day, coming out, I mean, I, it's almost like I have to do it on a daily basis. Not necessarily daily, but I mean, there's still that chance that, you know, I have to tell someone and they might not accept me. I still always have that, like, you know, a little, like, pit in my stomach where, you know, someone might not like it, and then someone might give me that look, you know, like, you're gonna hit on me, and I'm not gonna like it because I don't like gay people, and you're a gay person. That means you're gonna like me because... But yeah, to this day, I still have friends that support me, and I try not to keep the people around who don't. Um, yeah, it, things are going smoothly, and I have to say that coming out was definitely something that was hard for me, but I feel like it has paid off in the end because it's hard to keep that part of you in, even though you know you want to be yourself around people despite the fact that they might not accept you. But if you're one of those individuals who is out there who is finding it hard to come out and finding it very hard to find a place where you feel like you can belong, you shouldn't really worry. There are plenty of places out there where you can talk to someone find some sort of sanctuary where you feel like you can be yourself because there's no reason where you should let anyone make you feel bad for who you are. If you don't feel like the people in your life will accept you for it, don't worry, there will come a time where you'll be surrounded with a group of people who will love and support you no matter who you are because in general people are pretty great like that. I mean, there are people that aren't like that, but you're always going to find that niche of people who are great to you and will support you no matter what. So uh, thank you for watching and listening to my coming out story to hopefully kind of introduce you to me and get a feel for some of the things I'll talk about on this channel. I will put out new videos every Tuesday and we can, we can have fun, even though coming out can be a touchy subject and something that's a little more serious. We can always have more fun topics on this channel and I am really excited to keep going. 
So thanks again for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.